What's up, Credit Family? It's your boy, Mr. Credit Banking, and I am back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss some marketing material that I received from Credit One. Guys, <laughs> this bank is horrible, all right? It's a horrible bank. And um, I, I don't know if you guys watched my previous video about um, Credit One. Um, in fact, um, one of my loyal subscribers who did watch the video um, use that video for their motivation to cancel their uh, credit one um, credit one uh, credit card and I'm glad that she did I know I don't recommend you canceling any credit cards but credit one is a horrible bank and they will fee you to debt you will pay a fee for almost everything at that bank and um, and they do a really good job of marketing to people and trick people into opening accounts with them as you can see um, these guys logo looks just like capital one they are not capital one guys and then you can see um for getting one of their cards if you choose one of their little fancy designs right here they are going to charge you six dollars and 95 cents that's to show what type of predatory credit card company that they are this is something that almost all <laughs> uh, credit card companies give you for free and they're going to charge you to get a <laughs> to get some design from them this is crazy guys this is just systemic of how bad these guys are and they will fear to death do not get this credit card it is not capital one guys this is credit one it's a horrible bank in my opinion anyways and they're pretty slick in their marketing and i'm sure they've gotten a lot of people with the way that they market uh, mainly to people with um you know who are rebuilding their credit or uh, people who are new with credit, because I know that they got me one of my first credit cards after my bankruptcy. But anyways, <laughs> I want to show you guys. Hey, it came in this nice, plain envelope. All right. Select of them. And in that envelope is a is this fake credit card that's in there. And it feels like a credit card from the outside of the envelope. So, I mean, the way that they tricked me into opening it, I thought, oh, it's a replacement credit card that, that I must be receiving in the mail. Maybe one of my cards have... Um, you know, uh, uh, expired, whatever, and it's a replacement card. So they come up with creative ways to get you to open um, one of the envelopes. And guys, I literally get envelopes from <laughs> um, Credit One, probably one uh, at a minimum one one a week. I close my <laughs> Credit One account probably 10, 11 years ago, and these guys are still marketing to me, and they know it's me because they. <laughs> They, I mean, they all say my name and all of the marketing stuff. This is not like some random thing that they're sending out to thousands of people. They're, they have my name, my correct name, and address, all right? In fact, in, in the marketing material, they say that they want me to come back to Credit One Bank. These guys are horrible. They will fee you to death. There's a monthly fee, uh, annual fee. I mean, I mean, they've come up with so many creative ways of fee. I, I, I don't know why any, I don't even know how these guys are still in business and why anybody would do business with them, guys. There's there's better alternatives. Um, like the bank they like to pretend to be, who is uh, um, Capital One, that's a way better alternative than these guys. Uh, you know, if you're starting out or rebuilding credit, I recommend um, Capital One or uh, Discovery. Um, they have um, credit cards that will help you rebuild your credit. They have secure credit cards that's way better than this guy because these guys will fee you to debt. Uh, I think they probably have like one card that doesn't have an annual fee or something like that, but most of their cards have fees, guys. And like I said in the beginning, if they're gonna charge you a fee to get some fancy um, looking uh, credit card, trust me, <laughs> they're gonna fee you to debt and everything else. So I do not um, recommend that you get any cards from them. As uh, soon as you see whatever marketing material that comes in the mail from them, you just throw it away. Don't even bother reading it because it's it's not going to help you out. There's better alternative. Anyways, I know this video is kind of rambling, but these guys, they irritate me because they take advantage of people um, because people don't know any better. And they trick people into thinking that they're um, Capital One, but they're truly <laughs> Credit One, which are horrible bank, in my opinion. Anyways, I know I kind of ramble on today, but uh, please um, like my video. <laughs> Hopefully this information will help somebody. Um, if it helped you, please um, hit the subscribe button below. It's red. If you're not already a subscriber, it's red. 
and just subscribe to my channel. Um, I have sometimes I have opinion pieces like this, or I have um, other credit card related information that uh, I think is useful. You know, I'm usually talking about my experience. So it's not something I just went and read on the internet. Usually I only talk about stuff that I personally experienced and I've had a crazy financial journey over the past couple of years. And I try to share my experience and what I've, I've done to fix, you know, some of the troubles that I've gotten myself into in the past, including you know, falling for this horrible bank. Anyways, please hit the subscribe button for me if you haven't done so already. That's all I have for today. Mr. Credit Banking out.